Hi folks, thanks for joining me here at Photo Tutorials. Um, I've got a neat little tutorial to show you here. It's, it's, a, it's a technique what I call colour bleed. And it's it's where we fade uh, parts of the image from colour into black and white. It's it's not like the colour splash what I showed you before where we we take a small part of the image and we just isolate that with colour. What we're going to do is we're gonna actually going to fade the colour into the black and white. And it's a neat little trick and what you can do is you can repeat the process several times on an image uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to do that now so what we want to do is we want to click on this marquee tool and they want this one at the top the rectangular marquee tool and what we're going to do is we before we start if we look we feathered the pixels to 250 pixels okay that's what we feather that to. It's set to 250, it's, and the style's on normal. So make sure that you you set your pixels to 250, because if you just set them down to one. In fact, I'll show you. If you have them set to one, for people who don't know, um, if we go to make a selection like that, okay, um, and we image just go to gradient map and we go to convert that to black and white then what you do is you get a, a really prominent thick line around the edge of your selection that's because you've only selected one pixel obviously we don't want to do that you know what I mean so just to make sure that you are aware of that okay so what we're going to do set them to 250 pixels on that feather box there very important you do that I mean don't get me wrong some of you may like that one pixel effect you know that and having that nice straight line if you do then fair dues then leave it at that but I'm just going to show you how to do it where it bleeds naturally um, nice flow into the colour so we've got the marquee tool set at 250 pixels and what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag and what we're going to do is we're going to try and keep this border more or less the same width all the way around if we can so probably round about there okay now that we've got that selection made what we're going to do is we're going to this area where you see me, me cross this is the area what we're going to uh, bleed the colour into black and white so this selection here on the outside is going to be black and white and all of this section here which is inside of the selection is just going to stay in colour what you can do is you can reverse it round you can have this middle section in black and white and the outside in colour it's entirely up to you, it's your image so what we're going to do once we've done that, once we've got that selection made at 250 pixels on the feather we go to select and we go to inverse and that's going to make the selection jump to the outside as you can see we've got two sets of marching ants going around there that confirms that the selection is going to affect this area here now what we do is we just go we're going to create this section here in black and white and the way I as I've spoke to you before in me tutorials before the way I go about with black and white is I use the gradient map which is this one here okay I mean incidentally I'll show you these before I do click on the black and white what you can do is you can have a play about with these um, different gradients because you can get some really wacky effects um, you know if some of you students have got a college project something like this might suit you down to the ground you know give it a go but there's the tool that we use there for the black and white use the black and white gradient click OK and we just click on the selection and deselect it and there you've got colour which is just blending into the black and white quite nicely and what you can do is I mean you can repeat this process again if you like you know you can come back into the middle there like so and because we just want the middle to be selected then we just we leave that selection as it is we don't need to go to select and inverse and all we do is we go to image adjust gradient map there's our gradient map that we need there black and white we click on that and there's your black and white again and deselect 
and as you see you cre can create like multiple effective color black and white color black and white you can you can stack it in, in individual stages and it's really quite nice on certain images uh, when it's done it's a good project for you to try and I hope that's been useful little tip for you nice little technique it's called color bleeding technique so give it a go and I hope you enjoy that and thanks for watching